Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Bradford City Rods Floyd career mode, the second episode of it. First episode went down perfectly. You guys hit 3,000 likes uh, in record time. It was awesome stuff. Thank you for your support. And guys, if we can hit 3,000 likes again on this video, I have a special little treat for you guys. I have episode three waiting. As soon as we hit 3,000 likes, I'll upload episode three. But we do have our first competitive game in the Bradford City Rhodes Glory career mode and cannot wait to get into it. But before we do, we had one little issue that I wanted you guys to resolve in the comments. That is, who gets the captaincy? You guys voted and the player that will get the captain's armband, no, it will not be Morozo because he's been here for about two seconds. The player that gets the captain's armband is James Hansen. Yep, James Hansen, you guys voted. He was by far the favorite. A close second, maybe not a close second, but a definite second was Rory McArdle. So if anything happens to Hansen, I'll give McArdle the armband. So McArdle, think of him as vice captain. But we're about to play our first competitive game. We're about to give out votes for the first time in the series, which is so exciting because guys, if you don't know how voting works, um, we have a big award ceremony at the end of every season and we give out the best player throughout the entire season, the player of the season, the J Bucks medal. And how we decide who wins the J Bucks medal is through voting. The best three players for every game get votes and whoever has the most amount of votes at the end of the season will win the J Bucks medal. We give out one vote to the third best player on our team. We give out two votes to the second best player on our team and we give a full three votes to the best player on the ground for our team. But here we go, we're about to get into our first game. It's going to be against Preston and have a look at those kits. I actually love those kits and it's kind of one of the reasons I picked Bradford City because of their kits. Their home kit, you know, maybe nothing special with their home kit. It still looks good. But look at their away kit. That is a sick kit. I love the transition of blue to white, the gradient. It's awesome. And uh, it's actually my away kit in Ultimate Team. That's how much I love that kit. So we are about to play our first game of competitive football. The first game for Football League 1. It will be against Preston and it will be on World Class. I've decided to go down from Legendary to World Class only because... I am using a team that's, you know, not full of your Messi's and your Ronaldo's anymore. I'm not using a really high-rated team. I'm using quite a lower-level team with some not-great players. So I really want to adjust to... I want to make that transition uh, as easily as possible. And so I'm going to bump it down to World Class just for now. Eventually, I'll put it back up to Legendary, maybe after a season or so. I don't know. Maybe even halfway through the season. But yes, this is the team we're going to be using. Starting 11, just going for it. Pinto, yes, I know I have to use him as much as possible because... We did get him uh, for free and he's quite young, but I am going to keep him on the bench for this game and eventually bring him on, hopefully, at some point in this one. Absolutely loving the fact that this is on next gen. A J Bucks medal, Rhodes Glory career mode with Bradford City next gen, and we kick off our season. Jeruxo gets us underway. Good tackle. Nice. Let's get a pass. That's a good one. Please. And again. Oh, that's actually going to work beautifully. And the through ball does not get through. He's offside. Apparently so. So desperate to get off to a good start. I cannot envision losing this game. I just can't. It just cannot happen. Good play. Very nice play. Jeruxo's away. Has he got some pace? Can he get away from his man? He's getting tugged at the shirt. Gonna have to whip in across. Keeps it in. Oh, that would have been a nice delivery, but a man was there and they clear away and they just fucking slingshot. Away they go. Hanson surrounded by players, but wait, he might end up with the ball. He's going to send through Moroso. First goal, 25th minute. Great goal, Moroso. Yes. Oh, we're off. Perfect start. We are off and running on this road to glory. Look at this. Surrounded by players. Hanson doesn't care. He sent through Moroso. What a shot. Great shot. Keeper didn't even fucking move to try to stop that. Beautiful. Moroso, the new signing, gets the goal. That's such a good goal. What placement. That's not a foul. That's not a foul. You're absolutely kidding me. How is that not a foul? Oh my god, can we get rid of the ball? Oh, we get away with it. But I was so certain that when he went down, that was going to be a foul. I just... Oh, wow. Wow, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Goes up in the air. Morozo, you're a short man. But he wins the header. Done well there. Done well. Put him under pressure. Send him backward. Don't let him give him anything. Don't give him anything easy. Lob through ball over the top. Shot! Oh, saved! Oh, nearly went in the corner. Oh, this is action-packed. But now we got a corner. Come on. They scored so many beautiful goals from corners, this team. Bradford City. Oh, not this time. But the ball's there. Second goal. He gets there. Couldn't stop it. Is that Hanson? I think you'll find that's Hanson. No, it's Jeruxo. It's Jeruxo. So the two new signings have scored goals in the first half. That's such a great start. Look, we didn't really get the goal that Bradford City normally get from corners. But that's still in the net. I don't care. Make him go wide. Make him go... Oh, my God. He, 
Had he got that tackle, that would have been a goal for sure. But please, keep sending him backward. Keep sending him backward. Hansen, everyone scored a goal, except for you. That's, and now he scored it. Third goal, that forward pressure though. And he's got the third goal in the half. What an amazing start this is. The captain gets his first goal. He ran up, he tried to cross it, didn't get it away in time, and the finesse right in the corner. Keeper couldn't stop a great placement. We're 3-0 up. I actually couldn't have imagined a better start than this. Is there time for a fourth goal? Potentially. We Oh, we had the run. They, they were coming back, but no. 3-0 up, half time. Are we gonna end this game 6-0 and are we just gonna go top after the first game? At the moment, we're probably top as is. They're making a substitution. I'll be making a substitution soon. Pinto will be coming on in any moment. It's gone through the line of defense. You're kidding. Hanson hat trick. No, hat trick, hat trick. What am I talking about? It's four goals. We knew it was going to be a goal two or three seconds before the ball went in the net. It trickled off of the keeper and bounced through. And the bloody poor pressing defenders. I don't know how that ball got through. I just sort of hit it and hoped. But look, it hit the it hit his elbow, the keeper's elbow, but it just bounced on through. That poor bastard chased it. He had no idea. But wow, this is just an incredible start. Maybe, and I might be speaking earlier, I could get thrashed in my next three games, but maybe I won't need to... Maybe I can just bump it right back up to Legendary after all. Maybe I don't need to make this transition. Here we go. Can we get something again? We're through, away. We got some space out in the side, but his run, Bennett, he's left it late. And away we go. Morozo's in the middle. Nice lob through ball. It gets out over the top. Hat-trick! Oh! 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 It's a goal, Hans! It's got a hat-trick! Two off of deflections. It doesn't matter. Captain Fantastic. That's three goals for Hansen. The lob through ball just got over the defender. And he shot it and it came off the keeper. This poor keeper. This poor, poor keeper. Oh, Hansen's got three. We are five goals up in this game. It is unbelievable. I'm going to make a few substitutions. We're going to bring on Kennedy and we'll take off Morozo because he gets tied very quickly as it seems. We'll put Doyle Ford as a center attacking midfielder. Kennedy's better as a center midfielder. But anyway, Yates... We're going to take off. We're putting on Pinto. So the young kid's getting his shot. Let's go. All right, guys. You won't be able to see it. He'll come into screen eventually. When he does, I'll let you know. But Pinto is wearing... Uh, you know, I'm not even going to say what he's wearing. No, there he is. Right there. Okay, well, right in the middle. Sort of around my head. I'm controlling him now. Dude's bold and wearing pants. Well done, EA. I cannot believe that they've made 16-year-old Pinto bold. He's got some pace to him. Bold and with pants. I don't know if the pants are giving him extra quickness or not, but he whips in the cross. That's an amazing cross. It's Hanson. He's blown the header. Really? Oh, that through ball, that lob through ball. Gallagher's away. We're going to make the tackle, though. Yes, we are. You're kidding me. You are fucking kidding me. We made the tackle. It got deflected off of one of my defenders, fell right in front of Gallagher, and he shot the ball. Or did I tackle it? And it, I don't know. But somehow we made the tackle, but it didn't fucking matter. We were not rewarded for taking a clean tackle, and they scored the goal. So we've... Fuck. We've conceded... So we've lost our clean sheet with 10 minutes to go. Full time. We win 5-1. What an amazing victory. We conceded to the end there. It's very disappointing, but 5-0. What an amazing start to this season. Incredible stuff. That man got a goal. And Carlos Pinto is a bold 16-year-old kid who wears pants. I don't know what is going on there. I hope I can change his appearance because that is just what the fuck he had. All right, guys, the game is over. And now it is time to hand out votes for the match. So yes, we give three votes to our best player, two to our second best, and one to our third best player. And, you know, this is just the player ratings in FIFA 14. It does not affect at all what I give the votes for. It's just my decision. But I'm going to give one vote to, uh, let's say, Jeruxo. Jeruxo played very well. I'm going to give two votes to Morozo and the three votes. Captain Fantastic for his hat-trick. You, you cannot score a hat-trick and not get the three votes here. And even if two of the goals were a little bit, nah, doesn't matter. He still had a very good game, getting a 9.6 rating. So they're my three votes. But of course, guys, I want to know what you have to say. It's I know it's hard for you to judge because you don't see the whole game, but I want to hear what you have to say anyway. Who are your three players? Looking at the results from all over the league, we are outright top on goal difference. It's excellent. Now we advance on through to our second game in three days. It's a, it's a, at least a home fixture, so that's good, against Watford in the Capra One Cup. Now, this team is famous for their incredible run all the way to the final in last year's uh, Capital One Cup. What can we do in this one? But the big thing here is this man, Carlos Pinto. I do not believe, I don't, I can't believe that they've given an outfield player pants. I mean, he's bold, fine, whatever, he's bold. Some, some people just have that problem. Thankfully, I am not one of them. But the fact that you gave an outfield player pants is beyond me. He's not a fucking goalkeeper. He's the furthest thing from it. He's an attacker. He puts goals in the net. He doesn't keep them out. Either way, I'm making the decision. I'm probably going to put Yates uh, into my subs. And I'm going to put Pinto as my starting 11 player. Only because 16 years of age and 63 with a ridiculously good potential. I am going to give him starting 11 action. Because 
He didn't see too much of the ball in that last game, but he still played pretty well. And this is the first home game that we are playing in the Bradford City Road to Glory career mode. So that is Valley Parade FIFA 14 style. We're back in the Capital One Cup again. Can we recreate the magic? And here we go. We got numbers forward, but they have numbers back. It's ridiculous. Meredith goes through, gets past his man, taking an easier pass. Nice. Lane's free. Shot. Blocked. Falls to Pinto. Pinto. Oh, come on. It's just Hansel was just sort of sitting there. What was going on? Win the header. Get the ball back. Nice. Now we give it all. We give it right back. And away is McLean. There he is. Has he got some pace? He takes a good, decent touch. Got some acceleration. Has the shot. Goes right to the keeper, but that's okay. It's gone over for a corner. Here we go. Another whip into the box. Atkinson's there. Good, decent delivery. Can anyone win a fucking header in this team? We've had so many attempts. Pinto, the pass. It goes behind him. Please, McLean. Here we go again. Atkinson. Don't know what he's like with crossing, but we're not even going to find out. Nice tackle from Reach. That forward pressure. Please don't run into McLean, though. The lob through ball went to the wrong man. Oh, fucking hell. Going back around. I like what I'm seeing here. I like what I'm seeing here. Poorly dealt with from there in. And the shot is in the net. Oh, they couldn't clear the ball. And is that Captain Fantastic again? Hansen has scored four goals in two games. Oh, my God. Our header gets out over the back as well. And now we're in trouble. Dear Kite. Got to try to tackle there. No, please. Come on. Sliding tackles. Anything. We got to defend. How does he get the cross in? I don't know. And how do you not grab that ball? Oh, thank fuck it's not a corner. I'll be honest, McLaughlin is not that good a keeper. He's, I haven't had to rely on him too much, thankfully, but he is not a good keeper. And there we go. Pinto's away with a bit of pace. He's going to stop. He's going to go around his man. Beautifully done. To seal the game. Blocked. No. Save, though. It's still a corner. We've had so many attempts at scoring from crosses and corners with this team. We need to put one in eventually. Is this the one? No, it isn't. Maybe it is. No, it isn't. Oh, for the first time ever, we actually get a header onto it from a corner, but it hit the crossbar. So, so frustrating, but let's try it again. That's going to be a powerful delivery right to the far post. And still nothing. Wait. Wait. Oh, I tried the chip, and it didn't work. How did... Oh, okay, fine. It was in the corner, but McLaughlin, there's no way he didn't deal with that. I thought I had this in the bag. Now there's 10 minutes to go and we're equal. The cross came in. He got the header. Yeah, sure. He he got hands to it. He just didn't keep it out. That's a great angle. Um, <laughs> I, th I, did, I, I knew that he was going to always win that header, but McLaughlin didn't get it. I get it. He's a 61 keeper, but he is a fucking shit keeper. I, I have not had to rely on him too many times, but he has yet to show me what he's worth. He is just an awful keeper. We are getting a replacement for him really soon. I swear to God. I was so sure I had that game in the bag. Like, so confident. We get, they get one cross in, gets in the corner, and a fucking terrible keeper just can't deal with it. I would rather not let this go to penalties. But anyway, the header cannot be won by... No, but Darby gets it back anyway. That's okay. And again, let's send him through. Nice chance for a lob through ball there. That doesn't happen. Atkinson stops running for some reason. I don't know why he stopped running. Atkinson! Atkinson! Oh! Oh, it's gone through! How did that happen? Horrible defensive laps by Watford, but Atkinson somehow gets it. I can't believe it. How did that get it? How'd that happen? I don't know. He stuck out a foot, chased it down, fought for the ball, missed the clearance. I don't know who that defender is, but he is dropped in the morning. Oh no, that was a poor sliding tackle. We can't let him through here. Do not whip in across. We know what happens when they whip in crosses. Oh my god. Oh! McLaughlin! Wow. Okay, he made that save. I'm still not I'm still not too. Fuck, that was actually a really decent save, but he still has not won me over. He needs to do that consistently. Maybe not that, but at least stop the easy stuff. Minutes to go. Make up with a the tackle. There's Kennedy. Nice. And again, Atkinson. Have we got Hanson? He doesn't make a run, though. Atkinson won't make a run either. Does anybody want to go forward? Please, do I have to tell you to do it? Please just make a judgment call. The three balls, the offside. No, he's not. DeVita. We're whipping across. This could be the sealer. Oh, can anyone in Bradford City win a header? This is ridiculous. I thought everyone in Bradford City would have 95 OP from that fucking introduction video, but McLean, let's go. And again, McLean. I'm not even going to try a fucking cross this time. I'm just going to take it on with McLean. No, I'm not. Yes, maybe I am. Maybe I am. I'm going to pass backward. And the shot. And no, there's no sealer. There is still no sealer. We've still not got this goal. They clear it away. And that's it. We're done. I commentated forever and ever and ever on that chain of possession, but we win. The first Capital One Cup game, we beat Watford. They're out of here. 2-1. Thank God that game's over. <laughs> At least we... Oh, at least we got the win. All right, I accidentally advanced on through in that game, so I can't show you FIFA 14's player ratings for that game, but I will tell you what my votes are. Uh, I'm going to give one vote to Yates. I'm going to give two votes to Hanson, even though he did get a goal. And I'm going to give three votes to Atkinson, who did very, very well all over the... all. Pretty much, he had a really good game. And so we have another game to play in the Football League 1. We've got Swindon Town this time. I'll be playing that in the next episode. But yes, we're off. We're playing games. The start of the season, we're underway. We're handing out votes. 
So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Don't forget, 3,000 likes. As soon as we hit it on this video, I'll upload episode 3. So yeah, thank you for your support, guys. Keep it up. I'm your host, Game of the Mars Fox, and peace out. Bye-bye.